Now, GB News does not know the questions that are going to be asked tonight, and most importantly, neither does the Prime Minister. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly worried by this. The, 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 the look of fear in your eyes, Prime Minister. I, I, I just thought it not might con be... Not Conservative Party no, raffle, no, no, so no, no, I know what we're I doing. just thought, because uh, we've got so much to get through, very delve your hand in here. We've got some questions, right. more questions. Um, and if you just... You can't read them first. Can I get your hand in? <laughs> well, you know what, actually? So I'm, I'm very happy to do that. I don't know how much right. time we've got left. I am genuinely surprised we've not had any questions about oh, the economy, the cost of living. Right, so that, I'm just genuinely puzzled by All that. All right, here we go. So that well, would be the first time might, I've ever done one, one of these where that hasn't come up. It, well, and come I, on, I, I, I can't imagine all of you are really happy about the tax you're paying and don't want to complain. Well, is, so, is, I mean, is no, well, no one got an economy, cost of up. living, tax... Up. Right, here we go. Okay. Now, now we've got some people, right. Hi, Rishi Sunak. I've got so much to say, but such little time. My name is John Watt, and I'm one of the COVID vaccine injured in this country. I want you to look into my eyes, Rishi Sunak, and I want you to look at the pain, the trauma, and the regret I have in my eyes. We have been left with no help at all. Not only am I in here that's vaccine injured, there's another man over there whose life's been ruined by that COVID-19 vaccine. I know people who have lost legs, amputations. I know people with heart conditions like myself, Rishi Sunak. Why have I had to set up a support group in Scotland to look after the people that have been affected by that COVID-19 vaccine? Why are the people who are in charge, who told us all to do the right thing, have left us all to rot and left me and the thousands and the tens of thousands in this country to rot? Rishi Sunak, look me in the eye. When are you going to start to do the right thing? The vaccine damage payment scheme is not fit for purpose. In Scotland right now, according to the yellow card system, there are over 30,000 people that have had an adverse reaction to that vaccine. And OK. Deaths. J John, thank you very much indeed for your question. It's time for you to start doing the right thing, you've... Mr Rishi Sunak, and the rest. You've, you've, you've made a really strong point, John. Prime Minister. Yeah, John, well, I'm very sorry to hear about your personal circumstances, and you said someone over here also seems to have suffered by the similar, by a similar thing. Now, obviously, I, I don't know about the individual situation that you're we're in. Silenced, and... Rishi. We're silenced, Well, On I don't. Social media and everything. Okay. We are silenced. We are the most silenced people in this country. Silence right. in the press because my story in the press. Okay. I had to go right. to the government for comment, but, and they made them forgive, take all the right. stuff out. For, for, no, forgive me. Said. Forgive me both. We, I know I'm happy. We, 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 no, 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 no one. No okay, one said, John. No one. No one is saying. No one. Oh yeah. Okay. I've lost my house, my wife, and successful career. And sir, you raised some very valid points. I'm sure. What I've got to say is though, we haven't got you on microphone, and as you know, we've got to get through this. I'm sure we can, we can raise your points with the Prime Minister at a later yeah. date. But in the meantime, Prime Minister, if you yeah, could no, cover I'm, the issue... I'm, I'm very happy to. So, look, there is a vaccine compensation scheme that's in place, as you alluded to, in the NHS. Obviously, everyone individually will work through their cases. It's difficult for me to comment on anyone's individual case. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. I'm very happy to go and look at the cases, and I'm sure you'll get them to the team here. I mean, I, I'm very saddened and shocked to hear that you've been silenced by anybody. That is surprising to me, so please do get your details to Stephen and the team, and I will happily take that away. Of course, you should better speak about your experience, what's happened to you, and as I said, we have a compensation scheme. Why should LGBT people vote Conservative? This is a country whose values are reflected in our party and in government, and that is that it's a compassionate, tolerant place. And we want to make sure that people, whatever their background, are respected and treated with dignity. Right? That's the kind of country that I believe in. And it's not just about LGBT, it's about absolutely everything, right? Act quite frankly. Like, this is a place which has always been welcoming, tolerant and inclusive. That's who we are as a country. And I think that's what we will always will be. And I'll always make sure that that's the case while I'm Prime Minister. Forgive, forgive me slightly, but I think some of the issue may be less about the LGB and more about the T, Prime Minister. More about the trans issue. Well, on, on that issue, look, my view on that is relatively straightforward. Look, first of all, right, for people who are going through that, particularly children, right, we have to be really sensitive about it. We should be understanding, we should be tolerant and compassionate, as I said, because that's who we are as a people, respecting everyone and their differences. Um, but I also think on that issue that 
particularly when it comes to questions around women's safety, women's health, <laughs> that biological sex is important. For our uh, devolution, Hull and the East Riding of Yorkshire, there is no proposal for spending on culture and the arts. Why is that? Right. Well, sounds like a great shame. <laughs> and we're lo losing out on your talent, John. Right. Um, so, look, I don't know is the simple answer, so I will go away and take a look at that. Uh, um, my question is very simple. Since the 2019 election, when the Conservative Party won an 80-seat majority, do you believe that the Conservative Party have delivered anything of real substance and value since then? Perfect. David, well, great to hear from you. I was in Darlington earlier today, working out of the campus that I set up there when I was Chancellor, um, which is a great example, actually, of levelling up. It's not in one of the big northern cities, not in Manchester, Leeds or Newcastle, it's in Darlington. Because it's places like Darlington that are now getting the focus from a Conservative government. And I was speaking to young people today at that Darlington campus who were telling me about that. All from the North East. Up from Newcastle, from York, from Durham, from Teesside, from North Yorkshire. All of them working at the heart of government in Darlington. Why are you so adamant about Rwanda when public documentation shows it isn't working and that it's not going to work? So can you be open and honest with everybody today and tell us what the next steps are? A lot of people will be wondering, how do you get this through Parliament? <laughs> this is a big problem. Yeah. Well, it's actually less, so it's in one sense, less a question for me, and it's a question for Keir Starmer and the Labour Party. The UK is estimated to be short of over a million homes. But despite this, your party have scrapped the house building target and you've scrapped Michael Gove's proposed planning reforms that would have liberalised uh, the building of houses. You say you have a plan, Rishi. Do you have a plan to fix the supply crisis in British housing? There are these old EU rules called nutrient neutrality. I won't get into the, the details of it. These legacy rules from the EU, they're defective. They don't actually do anything to help the environment, but they are blocking 100,000 homes from being very quickly delivered across the country. Now, we were going to pass a law to change that and protect the environment, and that would have very quickly unlocked 100,000 homes for you and people of your generation. What did the Labour Party do in the House of Lords? They blocked it.